Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. One lovely lady recently got in touch with me to ask me about my die storage. So I thought that I would show you exactly how dies come when you order them from Stamping Up from my online store and give you a couple of um, ideas for storage and show you what I use because it works for me. It might not work for you and that's absolutely fine. So first off, when you purchase your um, set of dies, they will come um, like this, but they will also have a, a thin cling um, envelope on them as well. So they come in this really nice sturdy plastic pocket and when you take them out you will find that you've got this cover sheet for them now they will be neater than this clearly <laughs> this is a used set um, but they come like this where there is some incredibly sticky tape on there and you have to kind of be careful <laughs> clearly i've not used this one um, when you peel them off. I tend to peel the card away from the die rather than trying to pull the die off the tape um, simply because it is so strong and uh, certainly for some dies I wouldn't want to um, damage them, bend them so be careful of that. And the other thing with this is that unless you take a photograph when you take them out the packet I can't remember where to put them all back and you know it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle without having the clue the picture to to make it so what I do is I buy these thin magnetic sheets they really are thin and I get mine from a company called the magnet shop and these are um, A4 and you get them in a pack of 10. If I can find a link I will put a link in the description bar and in my blog post about this. So what I tend to do is just take out a sheet or the remainders of a sheet and just cut a piece the same size as my card piece there so I would just use a large pair of scissors to cut down there and I've just realised my large pair of scissors are not here um, because I've had to be wrapping some birthday presents so they're downstairs so um, that's what I would do I wouldn't use my paper trimmer on that because although it is quite thin um, unless I've got I've got a blade that I use for glimmer paper so I might use that um, rather than risking my new current blade um, that's perfect for cutting card. So cut that and I actually just use that sticky to stick the magnet down. I, unless I've used it quite a lot and the sticky has gone or the sticky has peeled off when I've taken um, the dies off, then I would just tend to use the sticky that's already there or supplement it with some tear and tape or a uh, stamping seal so use what's already there if you can then it's easier and i'll show you one like this it's easier just to put my dies exactly where i want them they can fit them in um a bit more easily because i'm not restricted by that tape okay so that's what I do. I know that some people discard this pocket and instead they will put them in with their coordinating stamp set um, either as they are, um, as they come, or they might um, put them on magnetic sheet and put them in with the stamp set as well. Word of caution on that um, you will occasionally get a bundle so I think this is 
originally came with a stamp set. The stamp set has retired, but the dies are still current. And I like to keep my current and my retired collection separate. Um, because I make videos, I, um, I want to make sure that I'm using current product on the videos so that you can go and purchase those. And um, But I don't get rid of all of my uh, retired stock. I have lots of it around. Um, and I use that for my personal cards or cards that I make for um, some customers who ask me to make personalised cards for them. So... Um, if I had done that and I'd got rid of that plastic pocket and the stamp set had retired, I wouldn't have had anywhere to put those dies and I'd probably have to make something. So, um, that doesn't work for me, but it might work for you if you're not bothered about retired and current product. Okay? So you'll also see that I put a label on my packets. And I put the dies to the front of it. The putting the dies to the front is actually a recent thing for me. Um, I used to just put the label on and have them in the packet with um, that at the top. But there are some amazing stamp sets that have not just um, ones that coordinate with the stamp set, but they also have um i'm looking for one but it's at the side because i've used it this one <laughs> um hippo and friends so the stamp set that goes with that has stamps for the the little um hippo unicorn and a wee sheep and a butterfly and flowers etc but i use this set more for these label dies than anything else. Um, I have used the other dies, but these are um, excellent. Well worth the money, even if you don't have the stamp set. Um, so I now keep that to the front and I have them in roughly um, alphabetical order in here. And this is just a plastic basket thing that I got in supermarket for two pounds or something like that. I think they tend to have offers on these things every now and again. They are really quite sturdy. Um, I wouldn't want to have to be moving it around very often because it's pretty heavy. And I keep my um, patterns in there and embossing folders in there as well. So I've got them. I can see what's inside and go, oh, Ooh, that would go with that other stamp yeah um some of them there's too many to put on um just one sheet so i've got the other ones on the back of that i've got two pieces of magnet um and i do have the number of dies on my label so that when i'm putting them away again i can just double check the only exception to this is my playful alphabet dies. I don't have that on a magnet and the reason for that is that the sticky isn't quite so sticky. It was originally, I've, I've worn it down, um, but as you can see it shows you exactly where to put that back. So if I'd put a magnet over the top of that I would then not necessarily know exactly which one's missing <laughs> it's just good to know when you're when you've been using them and you've got them all over your desk um so yeah and that's the only one that i have kept on the original card I haven't used a magnet because it's printed on there and it's so excellent to have that so um, and the other reason that I don't um, put them in my stamp cases is that obviously there are some dies that don't have stamp sets to go with them, like this beautiful stitch greenery one. Um, so I would have to have my stamps separate with some with dies in them 
and, and some other dyes separate as well. So this is what works for me. And as I say, I keep my, my masking patterns, uh, my pattern masks even, my um, embossing folders, dyes in alphabetical order, but I can just flick through and go, oh, yeah, that I could use that for something or, or whatever and then I've got my spare chamois a silicon mat and a, a piercing a stamping mat as well in there so I hope that this has given you some kind of um, insight into my world and that uh, you might also think about rearranging how you keep your stamp sets um, but yeah definitely the best thing about stamping up stamp sets is that you get them in this really lovely tough pocket that keeps them clean keeps them um, together and uh, if you stick a label on it you'll know exactly what they all are as well okay so the other thing while i'm on about storage oh actually when I'm cutting down those um, pieces of magnets, I quite often get um, little strips. So I will use them as well and just put a few of them on there to um, add my, my dies onto. Um, but I also am sometimes left with really little bits don't throw them away you can use them for things like this um, so I had a video for this particular um, project but you can see that's the exact same magnet strips that I have used just to close that so it's good for closing all sorts of little bags and things like that as well so my other storage thing and this is brand new to me is oh sorry I have um, my stamp and storage um, in, in front of my desk, uh, well, at the back of my desk, rather. Um, and I have reels of ribbon there. And I had my things of twine just kind of slotted behind them. And obviously, I kind of forget about them. If I don't see them, I don't use them sometimes. So these are in the um, clearance rack at the moment. It's an older product, retired. These mini shipping boxes. Now, you get eight in a pack and they come flat like that. You simply just fold those bits together to create the base. And then either fold those bits in or out. I've folded them in for this one and I've actually just stuck them with a, a little bit of uh, a glue that I think I used. And then I can put my packs in there. They're at the side of my desk. I will see them more often and I might use them. Now this is a bit of a strange thing, but you could just as easily tape that all down turn it upside down and decorate these boxes to use them as gift boxes as well. And as I say, they're in the clearance rack right now. Um, I think they, or they were certainly less than £2 for these eight boxes. And they're, they're pretty sturdy, actually. Um, so another little storage idea for you or grab a bar bargain in your next uh, order and you can decorate them as you like. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video got some ideas from me and um, if you have give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel then please do click on that subscribe button until the next time take care bye bye